Okay, in this video we'll look at two more examples that involve integrals using the natural log function. Um, if you haven't done it yet, this is going to be part three of that series. And if you haven't done it, I would definitely watch the first and second videos. And it will show you where these formulas came from. Now, just a reminder before we get started, the integral of 1 over u turns into the natural log of u, and we'll use that in these two samples. Now, in the two sample problems that are going to work, they're similar in that both of them involve a natural log. However, they're different in that one of them is going to take the power rule, and the other one is going to take this new uh, integral of 1 over u rule. So let's take a look at the two examples and see what they look like. Okay, the first one looks like this. Integral of natural log of x quantity cubed divided by x. Now this is going to be a u substitution problem, and the first thing you've got to decide is what to pick for u. Uh, so let's take a look at a couple choices, and actually let's make the wrong decision here to start with. Suppose you decided to let u be equal to x right here. Now again, whenever in u substitution, whenever you pick your u, you want to pick it so that the derivative of u gets rid of the other thing. Well, in this case, the derivative of u is not the natural log of x, so its derivative won't get rid of the natural log, and that would be a poor choice. So you don't want to pick uh, u to be x. Now your other choice, suppose you decided to let u be equal to the natural log of x. Now again, the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x, so that would be a good choice of u because you'll be able to get rid of this x in the denominator. So with that in mind, let's proceed through the problem. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do, I always like to rewrite these where the derivative is off to the right and the other information is on the left-hand side. So I'll make this be uh, the integral, and I'll leave this part alone. It'll be the natural log of x quantity cubed, <clears throat> and I'm going to take this bottom part and kind of scoot it off to the right. So this will be times 1 over x dx, and I'll put a little red box around it, but what I'm going to try to get rid of using e substitution will be this right here. I have to eliminate that and get the whole thing in terms of u. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and we'll run through the u substitution. Now in this case, what we'll do, we'll let u be equal to the natural log of x. So that's going to be my choice of u. So we'll do that over here. So I'm going to let u be equal to the natural log of x. Now <clears throat> take the derivative of that. So the derivative of u with respect to x and the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. Well, that gets you to the differential of u would be 1 over x dx. And now again, this part right here matches up with this over here, so I can substitute du right here. So again, this was the u substitution, so let's go ahead and we'll just kind of put a little box around this to isolate it. So we'll go and just stick a little box around that. So what this was, this was the u substitution right here. So u sub. So now I'll go ahead and put those back in the formula. So this will turn out to be equal to the integral. Now in place of the natural log of x, that's equal to u. So I'll put u cubed. And then all of this turns into du. du. So what that does is the entire problem really just turned into a power rule problem. So find the antiderivative of that using the power rule, which would be u to the fourth divided by four, and don't forget to tack on a plus c, so you have equal to that and equal to that. Um, now the last step, of course, would be you can go ahead and replace u with what it's equal to. So u is equal to the natural log of x, quantity to the fourth power, divided by 4 um, plus c, and you'd be done. So there's the solution to the first problem. And notice in this first problem, you let u be equal to the natural log of x, but it wound up being a power rule problem. Now let's compare that to this next problem. Okay, now in this problem, this one also involves a natural log of x. Um, but let's run through the choices of 
of uh, u again. Now again, suppose, let's just suppose that we did it wrong. So suppose you decided to let x, or let u be equal to x. And again, the trouble is that the derivative of x will not get you to the natural log of x, so that would be a poor choice. Now the other possibility is to let u be equal to the natural log of x. So suppose you decide to let it be equal to this part right here. Well, the derivative of the natural log of x will get you to 1 over x, so that would be a good choice. So we'll let u again be equal to the natural log of x. We've got a little more work to do on this one first, so let's run through and we'll have to do a little algebra to put it in a proper form. And again, what I'm going to do is take the my choice of u and put it on the left. I'll take everything else and put it on the right just to help me uh, with the u substitution. So I'm going to rewrite this as 1 over and I'll leave the natural log of x to the fourth right here. And then I'll take this x and I'll move it kind of off the side. This will be times 1 over x dx. So all you did right there really is just took the x from right here and moved it over to right here. So what this is going to be, this is going to be the part that we're going to try to get rid of using u substitution. So I need to eliminate that. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and do the u substitution for this problem. Now again, uh, I'm going to take do one more step first, so we'll just make the u substitution a bit easier. Um, and let's do this. Using the power rule, I mean the uh, log rules, and I would suggest you guys always do this if you have a chance to. I'm going to take this 4 here, and using the power rule, remember you can bring the power down in front. So I'll bring this power down in front. So I'll rewrite things just a bit. So what that's going to get me to will look like this. It would be the integral of 1 over, and I'll bring this 4 down in front, and I'll have 4 times the natural log of x. And then I've still got the 1 over x dx out here. Now that's a constant, so you can bring it to the outside. So I'll go ahead and do that and make this be 1 fourth of the integral of 1 over the natural log of x, and then 1 over x dx. And again, I'm going to try to get rid of this part right here using u substitution. Now what that did, when you take the, if you let u be equal to the natural log of x, its derivative is 1 over x and everything should work. So let's do the u substitution off the side over here. Again, just like in that first problem, I'll let u be equal to the natural log of x. Uh, find the derivative. So the derivative of u with respect to x would be equal to, now the derivative of, of natural log of x is 1 over x. That means that the differential of u would be 1 over x dx. Now again, this right here matches up with this over here, so I can substitute that right there. So there's my use substitution. Again, we'll isolate that with a little box here. So I'll just put a little box around this. And that is the u substitution. <clears throat> okay, so now what that makes the rest of the problem look like would be this. This will turn into, um, here's the 1 fourth, and you're going to have the integral of, now this will turn into 1 over u, and this will all turn into a du. So it changes it into that. Okay, now this will be a 1 fourth. And then just a reminder, let's go back to the, to the uh, integral rules. <clears throat> Here is a integral of 1 over u du. And just as a reminder, the integral of 1 over u du changes into the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. So let's go back to the problem. And this will turn into uh, the natural, we'll put a bracket around this. This will turn into the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. And you're almost finished. The last step, this would be 1 fourth of the natural log of the absolute value of, and replace u with what it's equal to, and u is equal to natural log of x. So you get a second natural log right here, plus c. So the final answer would be 1 fourth the natural log of the natural log of x plus c. 
Now, the difference in these two problems really comes down to this. In this problem, even though in both the two problems, I'm just kind of look at both of them here. In this problem, you let u be equal to the natural log of x. In the first problem, you let u be equal to the natural log of x. But in this first problem, uh, the choice of u turned into a power rule problem, and you use the power rule to find the integral. In this second example, <clears throat> because the natural log was on the bottom, when you turned it into a u problem, it turned into an integral. We'll kind of put a little circle around this. It turned into an integral of 1 over u, which turns into a natural log problem. So just two samples, um, both of which required u substitution, both of which involved the natural log, but one of them used the power rule. The other one used this new uh, integral of 1 over u rule.